Hello, hello, gorgeous people. Let me just check. I am live and my sound is working. If you hop on and join me, let me know if you can hear me today. I know yesterday we had an issue with the sound right at the beginning, but we managed to get it sorted. So, hmm, I can't see me. Bear with. Yay, there I am. So as you hop on and join me, say hello, tell me how you're doing today. I would love to know how you're feeling, how you found day one, whether you are now in an attitude of gratitude and uh, yeah, you're feeling a little bit more restored. I would love to know. There I am. Oh, oh. Gabby, gorgeous morning. I hope you are doing okay. Pamela, lovely. Sound is all good. Okay, cool. Fabulous. So today we are going to be heightening that frequency a little bit more. So, and I say that, but we are going to do some deep work. Most of you know, I don't just go surface level. I am all for the deep healing work because I know that if we want to see real change, if we really want to experience transformation in our state, in our life, in the way we feel, in the way we think, then we have to do the deep work too. So we're going to be doing some deep work today, but you are going to leave feeling um, excited and feeling that frequency of the next level of you. And what I mean by the next level of you, because that makes it sound like we're on some kind of platform game, right? But that level of us, that our frequency and our state is operating at a higher level so that we're actually more likely to attract in the things that we want. We're more likely to get the opportunities that we need. But also we're going through our life feeling abundant, feeling grateful, feeling happy, feeling nurtured rather than it feeling like a drudgery kind of energy and I'm sure you know what I mean we're in January where energy can feel really heavy so I want us to be able to really shift out of that today what I want to do actually before we dive into today is remind you that today is the last day to get the 50% discount for coaches of Ayurveda it's not going to be at this price again. And when you sign up today, you get 50% discount and you also get access to Vitality Balance Flow, which is my mastermind group where we have, you get my course catalog and you have monthly mastermind meetings with the group of ladies and we have monthly coaching. So it's like the most phenomenal offer I could give you. So if you are interested in training in Ayurveda, then um, and supporting women with their health, with their mindset, with their frequency, you really don't want to miss this. So I wanted to mention that first. Hi, Melanie, lovely, gorgeous to have you here. Just to say, I, I've got a feeling there's going to be a bit more fire today. I can feel a lot more fire coursing through me in a really good way. Um, and as I say that, it reminds me of a conversation I was having the other week with one of my clients who was saying, she said, it's funny, I leave our sessions feeling really good, really positive. And she said, then it dawns on me like a few moments later that you've really kicked my backside and I didn't feel it. <laughs> so I'm hoping to give you some loving, nurturing, fiery kicking, which um, really helps to propel you forward. So I really hope that sounds good to you today. So you are gonna need a pen and paper today. Um, get a journal ready. I'll give you a moment to get sorted. I'll have a sip of my tea. And let me know if you listen to the audio lesson that I sent out around an attitude of gratitude yesterday and whether you're taking me off on the challenge to try and see gratitude in everything you're experiencing this week. I would love to know. 
So I'm going to presume you have got your pen and paper ready. What I want you to do is write at the top of your page, the reason I can't be abundant is, sounds a bit negative, bear with me. The reason I can't, I can't be abundant is, and I want you to just start writing. Start writing, it doesn't have to make sense. Just write, write, write. And I invite you to fill up at least two pages of like an A5 journal or one page of an A4 journal. And don't worry about what comes up. If things come up that feel quite emotive or feel quite icky or you think, oh God, where did that come from? Park it, move on to the next one, move on to the next one. Just keep filling up the page. We can deal with the emotion after. This is about getting it all out there, like kind of purging ourselves of things that might be hiding beneath the surface. So the reason I can't be abundant is, I'm gonna start writing with you. If you find yourself resisting this exercise, see if you can push through it. If you're anything like me, you might be going, oh, that's interesting. Remember, don't take it personally, just get it out. The reason I can't be abundant is... I feel like I should be playing some music, but Facebook always bans my videos when I'm playing music. So we're just gonna do, do it in our own kind of, play a tune in your head. The reason I can't be abundant is. Keep going, keep going. If you've just joined Pran, we are just journaling on the question. The reason I can't be abundant is, and we're just seeing what comes up for us, two pages of A5 or one page of A4. The reason I can't be abundant is, and just keep writing, don't think about it.
And remember, if anything comes up that's emotive or, you know, causes some kind of internal disruption, see if you can just park it for a moment and keep writing. The reason I can't be abundant is... I can hear our Luna barking outside. Luckily, she's with my other half, though. The reason I can't be abundant is... Keep going, keep going. You may even want to write down memories that come up for you as you think about this. smirking as some of the things are coming up for me, I have to say. Okay, finishing up now. Does anyone want to share anything that came through for them that perhaps was a bit, oh, where's that from? That's interesting. Remember to try and view it through that lens as opposed to beating yourself up, getting pulled into the story, assuming it's true. Any of those things, we're just going to look at this from a lens of, like you're just analysing something, like you're, when I say analysing, you're just getting curious with something. It's like, oh, that's that's interesting that that came up. So one of the things that, and I'll just share something that came through for me, and it's one thing that I work on time and time again, and I have to keep recoding myself around. I have to keep... Um, rewiring my inner state around when it comes to um, feeling abundant in my business one of the things I know that self-sabotages me and has sabotaged me time and time again um, actually I feel like I need to just say before I share this story when we're talking about abundance, this doesn't necessarily mean just money. It can be that abundance of just feeling like you have everything you desire in your life. Your relationships are fabulous. You live in a beautiful home. You love your family. You know, you have a gorgeous lifestyle. You get to do what you love for a living or you know, all of these things, that that total abundance. So this just this isn't just in relation to money. I just wanted to caveat what I'm about to say with that, because the example I'm giving is in relation to money. Um, so one of the things that I have had to work on time and time and time again is growing up, I was told this story. And when I say told this story, I was given this belief 
that in order to make money in this world, you have to work hard, you have to do something that you don't particularly enjoy, you know, having a career or, you know, having a business, it's about, it's not about just doing what you love and in something you enjoy and, you know, following your passion and following your heart. No, it's about struggle and it's about striving and it's about, you know, grit and determination and discipline. And there's some truth in some of that. Don't get me wrong. But this story then held me back for a really long time in my business. Because in my head, I was unconsciously, this wasn't a conscious thought, this was something that was running in the background, a bit like a song playing on the radio in the background. I had this song playing in my head that, well, you're never going to be able to make decent money doing what you're doing because actually, you know, you're enjoying what you're doing. And you can't make good money doing what you're doing because you're enjoying it and you're not working hard in in the sense of working really long hours and working yourself to the bone and struggling and striving against yourself. You get to show up every day doing something you love. So, of course, you're not going to make good money doing that. And so unconsciously, I was self-sabotaging every step of my business. I was, you know not putting the not putting the products out there or if I was putting things out there it was done in a really half-hearted almost like you know I need to be really apologetic about this thing because you know who's going to want to buy from me and you know I, I can't make money from this because I'm enjoying it too much or I would you know stop myself from doing the work that I know is actually going to help I would not show up. I would hide away. I wouldn't be visible to potential clients. I wouldn't be sending that email that I know someone needs to see. I wouldn't be. And you can see what I mean. This was playing around in the background of my head, stopping me from actually earning the money I desired. So I had to consciously rewrite this. I get to show up every day feeling abundant, receiving abundantly for a work for the work I absolutely love to do and I know transforms lives. I had to keep reminding myself of this new story. I had to rewire my brain. So I would love to know what examples came up for you as you were doing this exercise. Was there anything that surprised you? Or was there anything that you think, hmm, that's a really interesting like belief that seems to be lodged in there and I'm not sure where that's from or was it all things that you thought actually do you know what I know where all of that's from and and it still feels very true what I invite us to do is let go of the energy of this for a little bit so I invite you to get comfy Get a little nest ready. Do whatever you need to do. Um, Melanie, yeah, you sort of know what came through for you. It's also really interesting how you talk to yourself sometimes, right? Like I, I read through some of my wording around this and I thought, oh, oh, that was mean. You know, it just sounded mean. Um so interesting how we have to rewire. So I invite you to get comfy. And as and when you're ready, bringing your awareness to that horror space or that breath in the belly. that gentle rise and fall that happens automatically. And just noticing if there's anywhere in the body that generated a little bit of emotion from that exercise.
any emotion that doesn't feel good. And see if you can just give yourself a moment to be with that. Just observe it. Don't need to get attached to it or stuck in it, but just allow the sensation of that emotion to be present and be mindful of how it feels in the body. Often when we give ourselves the opportunity to be present with our emotions, they move through on their own. They just lose their intensity and begin to release. As long as we don't keep feeding them with our mind. So noticing if there's a story going on in the mind that might be feeding this emotion. Seeing if you can let that go or just let that be there without getting drawn in. It doesn't need to be believed or validated or confirmed. Just a story. And seeing if you can allow that sensation of emotion to move down the body. Until it starts traveling down into either the left or right leg, whichever feels better for you. And allow it to be released through the sole of your foot, being absorbed into the earth. A bit like how earth neutralizes electricity. Allow it to neutralize this emotion Allow it to hold your worries around any of those past experiences or beliefs that you've been holding on to. And above your head now, I invite you to imagine there's a beautiful golden ball of light, a bit like a sun. And this golden ball of light begins to move down into your body, in through the crown of head, crown of your head, filling up that head space with a beautiful feeling of abundance, feeling of knowing you have everything you could possibly want and desire, and it's always coming to you effortlessly. And that ball of light begins to spread out into the rest of your body, moving down into your throat, into your chest space, creating a 
quiet confidence and ease, just knowing that everything you need is always coming to you. You always get to receive it. And that energy of abundance moves down into your arms, into your hands, into your lower body and feel the energy within you change. Anxiety just melts away. And left feeling full and nourished and certain that you always have everything you need and desire. It's all available to you. And that abundant energy is moving into your legs, your ankles, your feet and toes. Till you yourself are just this sphere of golden abundant energy. Notice how it feels to know you're always taken care of. You magnetize everything you desire easily and effortlessly. And feel that certainty within you. That feeling of knowing you can Finally relax. And that excitement that's generated, knowing that you only have to ask for what you want. You may want to put your hands on your heart space. You may even want to think about one little thing that you want to attract into you today. Maybe a physical thing into your life or a way you want to feel, how you want to go about your day. Setting that into your heart space now. And making sure to put it in the present tense. So, like you've already received it, it's already here, it's already done. And take a moment to feel into that gratitude, knowing you get to receive that thing. You get to experience that thing. And it gets to be this simple. Maybe, maybe even saying a little thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you.
And as and when you're ready, coming back, slowly opening your eyes. <sighs> so, how are you feeling now? I'll give you a moment to come back. You know, my pup is running around something crazy today. I don't know what's going on with her. <laughs> Perhaps she's all excited by the abundance energy. Who knows? So, give me a little check-in. Tell me how you are. Tell me how you're feeling. How is that for you? Can you feel abundance coursing through your veins, your body? Is that emotion been released? If there was any generated, I would love to know. Melanie, lots more relaxed. Fabulous, lovely. I am so pleased to hear it. I feel a bit like I'm glowing now. I don't know about the rest of you. That abundant energy, it felt very real in my aura. I feel like I can almost feel it so what i invite you to do now is we're going back to the list you may be thinking oh i don't want to look at the list i'm feeling good now i feel like my energy has shifted um but trust me please so this list is just a list of beliefs that we've been holding on to in our subconscious you know we know this right we've got those things going on in the background and they're only real if we choose for them to be real you know if we think about when it comes to the people that have done great things in this world it hasn't necessarily been their skills or their experience that have led them to do great things in this world. And when I say great things, I mean, great things could be being the most awesome mum, right? Or it could be, um, you know, changing the world. It could be, you know, all sorts. But the people that have done that, the thing that has distinguished them has been their mindset. It's been the things that they have chosen to believe. It has been the things that have gone on in the background. And we can have the most screwed up set of beliefs going on and choose to change them. You know, we know this, we can rewire it. We can put something different. We can plant different beliefs in there. And what I know is that what you believe is what will happen what you believe will come true and I don't mean that just in like some kind of you know woo woo sense I love the woo woo don't get me wrong but on a really practical sense you know if we're constantly thinking about our problems all we're going to see is problems if we're constantly thinking about opportunities and you know opportunities to um up level and grow and things that we can experience that's what we're going to receive right that's what we will see we will see it's like if you say um you know you're going to buy a yellow car and then you look around and everyone seems to have a yellow car all of a sudden right because it's tuned in it's what you're seeing so it's so so important that we wire our brain to see the things that we want it to see and we allow ourselves those opportunities of what that will bring so what i want you to do is go through your list of the things that you wrote down that came through for you as to the reason i can't be abundant is <clears throat> and i want you to look at each of them individually and ask yourself is this a belief i'm willing to keep is this a belief I am willing to keep? If the answer is no, and we need to do this one at a time, then we cross it out. 
and we think, okay, so what would be a new belief that I could take on board instead that would really serve me? So, so I've just literally crossed out, I don't work hard enough. And I am replacing that with, um, I am always in abundance when I do the work I love. And do the next one. So for me, the next one is, it's too easy. Can you see a theme here, right? Of like things that come up for me in my head. It's too easy. Um, I'm trying to think if I can make this into a money one because I know money is a big thing for people, especially at the moment. So let's change that. Um, the more fun I have, the more money I make. The more fun I have, the more money I make. I know that one's true as well, because that is a belief I've been wiring in for a long time. And it has always shown my it's always shown to be true for me. I know that when I have fun in my business, I always make more money. When, you know, if I ever try and do things in my business where I think I should do it or people, I don't know, it feels like it's not my energy. It feels like it's something I should be doing rather than, oh, I really want to do that thing. I find the shoulds just, you know, don't get anywhere either I self-sabotage doing it or it just doesn't bring any money in or you know so I know the more that the more fun I have the more money I make um so do you see what I'm doing here we're just going through crossing out and coming up with new beliefs so I'm going to give you a few minutes to do that with me now because I don't want to say go do it in your own time because you might forget or get distracted. So let's do it together. At least the first five or six beliefs, rewiring them. And they don't, the new beliefs don't have to be like the polar opposite. It just has to be a belief that would feel really good to you. Something that you would really love to believe. What I will say is if your new belief brings up that cynical part of you, then you might want to change the wording a little bit because the idea of the new belief is it should be something that you can at least try to connect into. So um, you might want to reword it to every single day. I see more and more abundance in my life. Or do you see what I mean? Rather than making it into something that feels too big. <clears throat> Melanie, you're finding this hard, I must say. Do you want to share one of the things that came through for you? And I will see how we could re reword it so and I will also share some abundant affirmations or beliefs that I have myself so like some of them I've shared so um you know the more money the more fun I have the more money I make that's something I've been telling myself for a very long time and always proves to be true uh abundance flows to me with ease um this helps me with that mindset of it has to be difficult so abundance flows to me with ease it's just something that when I can find myself getting into that sticky mindset of it needs to be difficult, I can go, no, abundance flows to me with ease. Um, 
or a, another take on that which i just wrote down was i receive abundance easily and effortlessly um i am always in abundance uh i attract everything i desire into my life um other things i could say oh not wanting to seem selfish okay this is a good one so i would turn that into something like and this is a belief i had to work through in a different way which is when i do what's best for me i do what's it's best for everyone around me i had to work through a lot of that kind of selfishness um when i receive abundance it ripples out to the rest of the world uh, the more abundance i receive the more i see that improve other people's lives um, the more money I have, the more I can give away, the more, um, oh God, there's so many we could go here. So abundance is the most loving energy for me and those I love. Uh, Melanie, why would I? Why would I want? I'm not sure. Why would you want abundance? so this might be about what do you think abundance is so like i said at the beginning abundance isn't just about money abundance is are you living in flow joy ease are your relationships feeling abundant are you really present with everyone you love are you finding that your desires are met effortlessly that your needs are met effortlessly that you get to go do that thing that you've been wanting to do that you're bucket list just gets ticked off effortlessly because you always have the resources available to do what you want to do so why wouldn't you want it it's available to everyone right we can often get into this mindset of if we've got it we've taken it away from someone else there's an abundance of everything in this world and if we think that it's something like 99% of the world's, um, you know, if we're thinking about money, 99% of the world's money is held by like 1% of the people in the world. Can you just imagine if that was, if we claimed some of that back, the amazing things we could do with that, you know, the lives we could change, like the kids that could be fed, the houses that could be built for people that actually need them, all of those things. It's your birthright to receive abundance. And the problem is we have been conditioned time and time and time again to be told that, you know, it's either selfish or evil or, you know, that's crazy, right? When you think about, I know the more money I have, the more I am able to support other people around me. The more I know I am able to offer more amazing things in my business, the more women I'm able to support, the more health, uh, the more people I can support to transform their health, the more people I can help to transform their mindset and live an abundant lifestyle. Why won't I want any of these things? Of course I want these things. Um, Fran, I can do these things in theory, but they never take root in practice. And this is where it has to be something that you're constantly rewiring. So our beliefs have been formed and reinforced time and time and time again. If we think that we write down one affirmation and the cycle is broken, no it's like meditating once and thinking you've sorted out you know you've reached enlightenment it doesn't work like that right we've got to constantly rewire so every morning i will either do these sort of practices part of my meditation as part of my journaling where i'm stepping into that place of making sure my frequency is right making sure my mindset's right and you know there are some days when i have to do this three four times because you know perhaps something's happened or my energy's feeling off or you know i come back to it this 
this is the work. This is more important than any action you can take. Um, Gavi, there is always more of anything completely. Beverly, your mum, your mum, I love that word, mum, fabulous, always said she was greedy even buying a jumper. Yeah, so it's something you're going to have to rewire, lovely. Uh, your nana always helped others but had nothing herself as she'd given it away, bless her. And again, we don't want to be in that state either, right? Because we're no good to anyone if we are um, depleted, if we're empty. I know that I cannot show up for you all if... I am worried about my bills. I cannot show up for you all if I'm, you know, worried about where the next paycheck's going to come from or what I'm going to do about that electricity bill or I need to be coming to you from a place of my cup is full and my needs are met and I get to live the life I desire. So it may sound indulgent, but I need those weekends away. I need those spa days. I need those times that really fill up my soul because actually although I get to do what I love it requires my frequency to be at that higher level and I can't do that from a barely getting by point of view I can't so I invite you and tomorrow we're going to go into this in a bit more detail we're going to go into, so why is this important? Why, why does this matter? And actually, if we were able to live at that higher frequency, where you just felt abundant, what would be possible for you? What would you get to do in this life? What are the things that you would be having on that to-do list that would just feel fabulous so what are the ways that you would serve the people around you what are the ways that you would nurture those relationships because we all know it right if we're depleted if we're stressed if we're exhausted we see that in our relationships they start you know you start bickering at each other and it all becomes a little bit everything ripples out so when our frequency is in this aligned state that also ripples out we see it our relationships feel better our body feels better our life feels better we feel more present we're able to do more we feel more passionate and excited and we want to go out and help people and ah, it gets to be easy uh fran i bet she had abundance in her heart possibly but let's not glamorize kind of people depleting themselves because as women we have been sold that message far too much we've been told that actually we're only here to serve others the most amazing women i know that are doing beautiful things in this world, always make sure their needs are met first because they're no good to anyone otherwise. So I'm going to love you and leave you. Have fun with this. Play with this. Notice how these new beliefs feel in the body. And, you know, if you feel that kind of resistance at first, you may want to reword the new belief that you're stepping into. And if you find that frequency, that light within you dipping throughout the day, remember to come back to this new belief or these new beliefs that feel like they're really going to serve you. So, you know, abundance flows to me easily and effortlessly. I always have more than I need. Um, my needs and desires are always met. And notice all of those for me just feel like I just feel grateful. I just think, oh, yeah. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Melanie feels strange. And this is where you might want to tweak your belief a little bit. So if it feels too big for you right now, 
you might want to say something like, I feel more and more abundant every single day. Um, abundance is starting to feel more and more comfortable to me. Um, I know that when I accept abundance, I will be able to serve those around me more fully. Uh, fabulous, Beverly. I am so pleased to hear it. Uh, Gabby, the key is to be incremental. It's got to be a daily practice. This isn't something that will just switch overnight. It's stepping back into it, stepping back in and allowing that frequency to build and build and build and the level you're playing at to be bigger and bigger and bigger. Oh, go attracting some beautiful things into your life today and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow where we will be thinking about, so what do we want to call in with this new frequency that we are able to attract things to us? What What is it that we actually desire? What is it that feels really important to us? And not from a place of, oh, we should want that or, you know, society tells us we must need that or none of that rubbish. What is it you want? What does your soul truly desire? What do you crave? What do you need? And giving yourself permission to have that. Letting go of the judgment, letting go of the scarcity mindset, of feeling like there's not enough to go around. But from that place of knowing, we all get to have it all. You know, there's more than enough resources on this planet for you to have everything you desire. Sending you so much love. Have a gorgeous day. Go be abundant. And I will see you tomorrow. Okay.